now we're going to look at how we actually get this running online on the web portal. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make sure that our tags are charged. To do that, we need to remove the dust cover. Okay, so here we'll see how we can remove the dust covers. Uh, you should be using this tool, uh, otherwise you risk breaking these plastic arms on it. So just line up the teeth on the removal tool and just press down like that and the cover will pop off like that and then you can just remove it with your hand. And then we can charge the tags through the USB port. So I'm going to plug this in here to one of the chargers. Let that charge for about half an hour and uh, that should give it enough charge to complete the rest of the registration procedure. Uh, full charge would normally take you know, one hour plus. So it's very important that you make sure that the asset tags are actually charged before you do this setup procedure. The mesh router tags actually should be powered the whole time. Uh, they use considerably more power than the tags, so they actually should be powered the whole time. So I'm actually just going to, okay. Right, so they're powered, they can just sit there. Then uh, we need to look at the gateway. Uh, I'm going to remove the lid. There's two metal sliders that you push up. Now if they're too stiff, you can take a screwdriver or a pair of pliers and uh, push that if it's hurting your fingers to remove those. So remove the two uh, sliders, they're marked right and left, and lift the lid. That could be stiff because there's a rubber seal here uh, to weatherproof it a bit. So you might need to use, there we go, give it a little bit of encouragement, like so. Then we have the uh, gateway here. To connect the kit uh, to the portal, we recommend the use of an ethernet cable. So I'm gonna show you how to plug that in here. After you've uh, mounted the ceiling grommet, we can just push the ethernet cable through like that and route it through to the ethernet jack there that's on the Raspberry Pi. And click that into position and then screw up the cable gland like that. And we can give it 12 volts power. So we have the power supply uh, from, the, from the kit, which has a two pin plug. You see there's a keyed slot in the body here. Remove the cap and just rotate that until you can push it in. Then turn the locking tab. And you'll see here we have the green LED indicating power good to the unit and that will put your gateway online to the portal. The other end of the ethernet cable can either go to a standard ethernet switch or to a third party cellular modem, which you can buy online. Important to connect our antenna for a sub gigahertz network here now. Just do that firmly tight with your fingers. Don't use pliers or any tools you can over tighten that and damage it. So just finger tight. Now we're uh, ready to go online and uh, make sure our devices are working.